Hey, what's up everybody? It's John from The Lucky Needle. Today is May 26th and finally today we're going to start setting up this sawmill. So I'm super excited. I've got my brother out here. He's going to help me. He's staying with us for about two weeks. Uh, so we're going to get a whole lot of stuff done. I'm hoping we can get a bunch of wood cut. But anyways, I again for the third time decided to change the location of where we're going to set up this sawmill. Um, so I'm gonna set it up actually here, uncovered, and I'm gonna make a, uh, a nice equipment cover for it. And I'll make sure to film a video on that so you guys can see how we do that too. And then the reason I don't wanna put it under here is because I wanna, for now, use this to dry wood. So um, the, the goal is to get enough of these pine trees cut up into two by fours and two by sixes so that we can build that solar kiln. And, uh, and then we'll start cutting up all the rest of the wood. And, kind of trying to get this done before it gets too moldy. You can kind of see some of the some of the logs behind me here. They're starting to, the ends are starting to get moldy. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But um, anyways, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start setting this up and, and uh, we'll show you guys the process. All right, we got the whole thing unpacked now. You can see all these parts that we pulled out and it's gonna be quite a project to put it together. Actually, if you look over here at the motor, we had this sitting outside for like two months and a little mouse, he made a home in the motor. You can see there's like little pieces of, pieces of insulation and stuff that he shoved in there. So hopefully he didn't chew up any wires, but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep moving forward and see, see how it works out. I really hope they didn't need any of the wires or something. Do you see anything? Like, like there's no line or anything? <laughs> Uh, so now we're just trying to square up the track. This is kind of the bed that the log is going to lay on. And this is the track that the bandsaw rolls on. So it's important to make sure that everything's nice and square and even so that it rolls smoothly while you're cutting. So that's what we're working on right now. It's kind of a, a little bit of a pain because there's so many bolts and so many pieces to move, but it's going good. So we're working our way through it. Well, I want this is going to need to be way up here like this, so I want to get it. I'm thinking you got one of those at least one side will oh. sink and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On you, like lay it on the bottom and then the. Yeah.
on the instructions it says two people can lift this onto the onto the tracks. I'm kind of skeptical skeptical of that. It's pretty damn heavy. Um, I think we might end up having to get the tractor out here to lift it up and and set it up onto the tracks for this. So we'll see. All right, so we're just calling it a day here. We got pretty much everything assembled. We got the whole head of the unit, everything ready to go. So tomorrow we're gonna lift this up with the tractor through these eye, these little holes right here that's meant for lifting it. And we're gonna set it onto the track and then hopefully tomorrow we'll fire up this motor and get sawing some logs. All right, everything's all running and it looks like it's functioning properly. So we're gonna throw a log on here and do some test cuts. Um, there are still some fine tuning adjustments that we need to make, but we can't do that until we start cutting. So I'm just really excited to get something on here and cut it open and see what it does. So we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> already made the first big mistake that everybody tells you to avoid. Make sure that your log stops are low enough so that the blade doesn't hit it. So I think I pretty much just destroyed a blade and put a nice little gash in this guy. So good thing I ordered 10 extra blades when I bought the machine. Fucking right here, but this is where it made contact. It's all gone. Surprised it even made that last cut. Right. All right, so we've been uh, playing around with this sawmill for the better part of the day now, trying to get used to how it works. Um, we spent a lot of time this morning kind of adjusting everything to make sure that it's cutting correctly. Um, 
We, I think we still need to do a little bit of adjustment on it to get it perfect, but for what we're doing here, I think it's just fine. Um, and just for practice, this morning we spent a bunch of time cutting all these stickers for the, uh, when we lay out the wood, those are gonna be the spacers that allow air to flow through the wood stack so it can dry properly. Um, the only other thing we gotta do is we gotta actually make this the area where we're gonna dry the wood, we gotta make it a little bit more level and more stable so that uh, the wood doesn't dry you know, at a you know bad angle. It, you want it all nice and super straight, so that's what we're gonna work on. But honestly, Matt and I, we're pretty anxious to try and saw up a big log, so we're gonna throw a big log on here and uh, get after it, so we're excited. But yeah, this this, hands down is the coolest tool that I've ever used. So it, it, it's fun. <laughs> well, all right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow along with our journey of everything we're doing out here in Alabama. We'd love for you to be a part of it.